You may have seen one of these lights on your dash when you start your vehicle. It may say check engine or service engine soon, or it might simply be an icon in the shape of an engine. It should stay on for a couple of seconds and then go out when you start your engine. But what happens if it stays on or if it comes on while you're driving? Does it mean the car is about to break down? Not necessarily. Does it mean you have to pull off the road immediately and call for help? No. So what does it mean? It means that your vehicle's onboard diagnostic computer has detected a problem somewhere in the engine management system. It's a heads up that your vehicle needs attention. When the check engine light comes on, a trouble code will be set in the computer. So even if the light goes out or comes on intermittently, the computer will remember the problem. Prior to 1996, each manufacturer had its own method for retrieving codes and its own list of what the code means. 1996 and later vehicles are equipped with the second generation onboard diagnostic system, more commonly known as OBD2. These vehicles all use the same method for reading codes and the same code list. The trouble code, or codes, can be retrieved with tools that are commonly available at most auto parts stores. These tools range from simple code readers that will tell you in what area the trouble lies to sophisticated scan tools that can interface with the computer and display the actual operating parameters of the various sensors and output actuators that control the engine. All of these tools plug into the diagnostic connector, which is usually located under the driver's side of the instrument panel. To read any stored codes, it's usually just a matter of plugging the tool in and turning the ignition key to the on position. The code will then appear on the display. A comprehensive trouble code list can be found in the Haynes Manual for your vehicle or in the Haynes OBD2 and Electronic Engine Management Systems Manual. Once you've obtained a trouble code and know the circuit or system to which it pertains, you're not home free yet. This is where the actual diagnosis of the problem begins. It's not always a matter of replacing the component in the system or circuit that the trouble code says is the problem. This is where an actual scan tool, a multimeter, and a good troubleshooting guide come in handy. Diagnostic software is also available that will turn your laptop or PDA into a powerful scan tool. Many of these programs are very affordable and the large screen of a laptop allows you to view lots of information at once. Keep in mind that many auto parts stores will read your trouble code free of charge, so it's worth it to ask the counterperson if they do provide this service. Once the source of the problem has been found and the repair has been made, it's time to erase the trouble code from the computer's memory and turn off the light. Most code readers and all scan tools are able to do this with the press of a button. If you've tried your best to hunt down the source of a problem but just can't seem to fix it, don't be embarrassed to take the vehicle to a pro. Remember, some of these problems can stump mechanics with years of training and thousands of dollars in diagnostic equipment and tools. But simply knowing if a trouble code has been stored and what it means is good ammunition when taking in your vehicle for repair.